So my daughter got this awesome new pillow for Christmas that was set to hold her tablet up while she does media on the couch. So I had to start limiting all of her media time so I would have time with her pillow so I could have extra media time. And I thought, you know what, that's not very fair. Let's all have our own pillows. So today we're doing tablet prop up pillows right here on Man Sewing. Let's get started. So isn't this thing awesome? It is designed using, I use two different fabrics from uh, Shannon, the Cuddle fabrics, but you could certainly get away with just a third of a yard of your favorite Cuddle as well. I like that texture and it's good and soft. It also has a piece of boning in here that holds the tablet, but allows us to get to any of the buttons we have on the front part. So basically we just have a little bit of construction to do. I'm gonna show you using two different fabrics. So while I'm getting myself ready, bounce down into the description below and print out your free printable. This little shape right here is the key to making the sides of your tablet prop up pillow and these little points right there need to be there so do not cut them off please so you've printed this out right and this is going to make the edge pieces and when I'm setting up for my edge pieces it's really important that you look at this and you can see it's very asymmetrical right and so I need you to make two individual pieces but you can cut them at the same time by making sure that you have the right sides of your fabric together so the right sides are touching then when you cut it out this way and you cut all the way around it, including the little teeth, you'll be all set and done and you'll have two individual different shaped little, <laughs> they look like Dumbo ears is what I thought of when I flopped them out there like that. I've been calling them egg shapes up until there. So you need to create those. And then if you're using the bumps like I did, you're gonna take this piece. Now this piece starts 12 inches wide because I'm using a 10 inch tablet and I needed that extra couple inches for seam allowances and a little bit of this gap here where these corners of the boning really hold the tablet nice. If you're using a smaller tablet device, I recommend maybe cutting this down to about 10 inches instead of 12 for like an eight inch tablet. The length of this piece here is 23 and a half and that's important because it fits our funny egg shape, right? So you start with 23 and a half by 12 inches wide for your 10 inch tablet. And then I need you to go ahead and fold the edge, the skinny edges over and finish the raw edges by making just a seam across here. Let me show you, I've already done that for us. So you're gonna do it on both sides. So here's one side, here's the other. But on the other side, we need to make a sleeve where we're gonna lay our boning in. So this happens to be the half inch wide boning. So I can get away with about an inch wide pocket here. Okay, if you're using much wider boning, you might wanna make this maybe 24. I've built this on that half inch boning. And then we're just gonna make a seam that goes right across here. So I'm gonna do that for us right now. We'll be putting the boning in a little bit later. So we're just making the sleeve and I am definitely sewing it wrong sides together on purpose. Okay, this would be a fantastic time to double check to make sure that you left yourself enough room that the boning can actually slide in there, no problem, but we're not quite ready to attach it yet. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna lay this now let's talk about our little egg shapes, right? We need one of them right now. And I'm calling this the skinny or the short end. I'm calling this the long end. So we're gonna take this sleeve we've just made and I wanna set it like this. So look carefully. I put the sleeve, you can see the short end and I want to sew around with my right sides together around the long end, okay? And so I'm gonna actually start just like this and I'm gonna start on the other end of the sleeve for the boning. We're gonna finish that. We're gonna slide the boning in right as we're getting ready to finish. So we're not monkeying around with it the whole time. So my boning tube is between the funny teeth on my egg shape. And if you were just reading a pattern, that would sound pretty clever, I'm sure. It wouldn't make any sense. But if you're watching the video, you know exactly what you're doing. And I'm basically making about a quarter inch seam allowance. The minky fabric is very stable and easy to sew on. It's a curve, so you wanna take your time a little bit and we're gonna sew on one edge. Mm -hmm. 
and I really want that sleeve where the boning is going to be to be on the outer side. And so as I'm laying this down, I'm making sure I'm folding it forward. So why don't you come in a little bit closer and I can even show you better what I'm going to do. Okay. So what we've really got here is we've got the sleeve part for the boning against the edge piece. This is a great time to slide that boning in and I'm going to let the curve be face down so that it matches the curve that I need later. And if I could have just a little edge hanging out, great. So that is secured. And then I'm going to bring the edge I was sewing down on top of it. So that creates that little fold out front. And now I'm just going to get myself some stitching in. And if I can stitch that boning too, it really helps secure it nicely for time. And then I've got that there. And now I can show you again where I have basically the sleeve is stitched underneath that top layer so that when we expose it later on, this is that same sleeve right here poking out and that all was caught right in here. And you'll do the same for the other side and I've already created the other side. And if you look really carefully, you can see that the boning is actually hanging out both edges. So once you have both of those egg shapes on both edges of your tube to be, then we're going to stitch across here and I've already stitched it. So we're ready to stuff, but I want to talk about what I did. I basically started, um, about a third of the way back. I'm going to call it four inches and I'm going to sew from four inches here and I'm going to run to the bottom corner and then I spun it around tucked it in like this and I did from four inches down to the other corner so that I've really secured these really nice here. And then I still have an, an opening of about a hand's width, maybe another four inches. Cause at this point I can, even with the boning in here, roll this back to our finished format, our right sides out. Okay. This would be a great time to double check. Make sure your boning pocket is on the outside of your pillow. Then you're going to need one of these bags of like 24 ounce polyfill, right? And I used about half to three quarters of the bag. We're just going to go ahead and open this up and start stuffing. And if you've never stuffed anything before, there's a good little trick I like to use. And I want to point out, let's talk about this trick first. You know me, I'm always going a million different directions. So with this, I'm going to fluff it before I stuff it. And that keeps the lumps out. So I'm fluffing it up and making it loose and I'm dropping it in here. Now, my daughter's pillow had a really nice kind of feel of a weight inside of hers. It really sat nice and flat on my lap while I was working. And mine is really lightweight and loose. And I like both for both reasons. But I was considering, I have a cool pin cushion and trash bag that I filled with walnut shells. And I was considering making a little bag of walnut shells to place in the base. So you might want to experiment before you completely stitch this close. So this is going to be whip stitched by hand. Okay. But you might want to experiment with what kind of weight you want in your pillow before you sew it closed. Cause you could easily make a little muslin bag full of walnut shells you have left over from your pin cushion, slide it on in the bag. And that would be terrific. So I'm going to finish stuffing this real quick. Okay. So once you think you've got it stuffed to the appropriate thickness there, then you want to try on your tablet for size, make sure it sits nice and upright and that you can still get to your buttons along the bottom. Once you have that confirmed, you like it, we're going to go ahead and load up a hand needle and thread. We're just going to kind of pinch it and whip stitch across that opening there. The nice thing about working on the opening with the Shannon fabrics is you won't be able to see your handwork, whether it's good or not. And now check it out. We're all done. We have our tablet prop up pillow and our tablet ready to go. So check this out. Get yourself a nice cup of coffee, settle into the couch, and we will see you next time right here at Man Sewing. <laughs>